So when we think about the nutritional or uh, yes, let's start with nutritional. When we think about the nutritional variables that are most associated with inflammation in the body and in the brain, what I would say is on the one hand, you have the things that you don't want to consume because at high levels, especially they're correlated with higher levels of inflammation. There's two major things that I would like to address there. One is the Western pattern diet, the standard American diet, the ultra processed diet. We can talk all sorts of nuance around individual nutrients and keto and paleo, but the bottom line is if you consume ultra processed food, most of the time you're putting your brain and body at risk of chronic inflammation. So what is an ultra processed food? There are different scales that you can use to determine whether it's ultra processed or not. But one really easy way to determine if it's an ultra processed food is if you read the ingredient list on the back of a food and there are things there that you don't have in your kitchen, that is most likely an ultra processed food. 